In this video, I'm going to talk through the CHDK, that's the Canon Hack Development Kit. Recently discovered it and I've been playing around with it and it's pretty amazing. So, been flying with the GoPro and wanting to do some just still photographs. And as you know, the GoPro has the time lapse interval uh, photo mode, but uh, we all know that the lens gives you kind of that fisheye look uh, to your photos. And by default, the Canon does not have an interval timer for taking photos. At least the PowerShot series doesn't and several others don't. The CHDK gives you tons of capabilities to customize your Canon. Now, not all cameras are supported, so this is a ELF 130 IS that we had laying around and it's just a simple point and shoot that I wanted to set up the CHDK on and luckily it's supported with this camera. I'll put a link below to their wiki page that shows some of the uh, supported cameras. Okay, before I show you how to set up CHDK, I just want to show you a quick script in action. So I'm going to go ahead and load the firmware, which I have on my SD card. So you'll notice this firmware update option. I'm going to accept, hit OK. And now you should see the CHDK boot screen. So we're good to go. Now, what I'm going to do, you can see I have a little script called intervalometer running there. And with the script, I have it set to take a photo every two seconds. And beneath, I have my iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. And then go ahead and enable. So now it's taking a photo every two seconds. So it should be on a two second interval. This camera is a little bit slow, so there's a bit of a delay when it takes the photo. When you're getting started with CHDK, be sure to refer to the user manual. And I'm actually on the specific wiki page for the ELF 130, which is the camera that I'm using. And so what we're going to do is make sure you read whether or not your camera is supported. It will tell you if uh, there's not a firmware version available. It shows we have a build for firmware version 1.0a. And there are different ways you can get that loaded. but what I did, and I think the easiest thing you can do, is check out the ACID program. And ACID is a simple program that will basically show you your firmware version, and then you can determine what version of CHDK to install. And when you click on the ACID link from the CHDK wiki, you're taken to the download page, and you can get a download for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So I've already done that, and I've fired up. Acid, you can see it's here. And now all it says is to drag and drop a photo from your camera. So I've pulled the SD card from the Canon and I plugged it in. And you can see a bunch of photos that I'm taking. If we go down here, you'll notice the photos that I took at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to pick one of these and I'm going to drag and drop it over onto this box. And it's going to look, and if you look at this output information, it's going to tell you that we have 1.0b of the Canon firmware. And it should also tell you what version of CHDK to download. Now, you'll see that there's no build found. And if you remember, it said there was a beta build for 1.0a. So I've already gone through this. Thankfully, I know it works for this version of my firmware. So we'll go ahead and proceed. Okay, so I'm on the CHDK downloads page. And if you scroll down, see a link to latest stable builds and I'm going to scroll down to the ELF 130 there it says the CHDK firmware version so I'm going to go ahead and download that okay so we have that file unzipped and you'll notice the firmware files located in there now the next thing we want to do is take all of these files from the firmware that we downloaded and unzipped and I'm going to copy and paste them into the root directory of my SD card. So this is the root directory. I'll go ahead and paste those in. Now one thing I want to mention, and I'm not going to show you in this video, but perhaps in a future video, there's a scripts folder. And on the CHDK site, there are th literally hundreds if not thousands of different scripts written by the community. So you can always copy and paste those in here, write your own, and then load them onto your camera. So now we have our files copied into place. All we need to do now is eject our SD card 
and we'll put it into our camera and load the CHDK firmware. Now with CHDK loaded on our SD card, I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now one key to keep in mind, it's something that took me a little while to figure out, is you don't want to start your camera with the on-off switch to load the firmware. What you want to do is you want to hit play and after that we're going to go ahead and hit menu and if you scroll down to the very bottom you'll notice our firmware update option. Hit OK and now we have CHDK loaded onto our Canon so I'll hit the play button and you can see that it's loaded and what I'll do next just to demonstrate is I'm going to hit menu and here are all your menu options go down to script load script from file and you can see all the different one and here's the default interval script and I'll go down here and you can see that I can now toggle to the left decrease the interval timer we'll just go ahead and set it at 5 Scroll down and hit back, hit menu again, and now you can see that the intervalometer script is ready to run. All I need to do next is just hit the shutter button, and you can see that we're now taking photos on a five second interval. And you can probably hear the shutter going. That's a brief intro to CHDK. There's a ton more you can do with it and I've, I haven't even really messed with anything other than getting my Canon to take photos on a timer. But uh, lots of capabilities. There's a lot of development going on. It's a really cool project. So if you have a Canon that supports CHDK, I highly encourage you to check it out. In this video I just demonstrated how to load CHDK from your SD card and that's something you have to do every time if you use this method which I'm okay with that because sometimes I want my regular mode camera but there is a way to permanently load it on there and I haven't done that but make sure you check the wiki and you can learn how to do it. So looking forward to taking this up in the QAV 400 and getting some still shots. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments about setting CHDK up please let me know. And until next time, thanks for watching.